Wow, I don't know about you guys and girls, but I was really caught off guard by the introduction of the 360 Buckhammer round from Remington. I was at SHOT Show last week and I had some questions for Remington and I spoke with Chris Carson, the product manager there. Number one, why? Number two, is it going to change their commitment to the 35 Remington? And other questions as well. You're gonna to wanna to stick around and hear his answers. So I'm here at the Remington booth with Chris, and uh, Chris is the product guy? I'm product manager for Remington, the center fire products, pistol and rifle. Yeah. Okay, and so he knows everything there is to know about the uh, 360 buck hammer. So I'm just going to turn it over to him and let him explain the reasoning, uh, and we'll see where that goes. How you doing? Uh, again, Chris Carson, and we, what we've come out here is the 360 buck hammer. Uh, what were we doing? Why did we do it? Uh, trying to fill the gaps in the states that are straight wall states uh, requirements dictate they can only use a cartridge that has a straight wall so we'll, so yep. so let me interrupt right there because because that to me that should that should satisfy all the naysayers about the wine. Mm -hmm. Why would you do something like that? But that's four, four states, I think. Uh, there's a few more than that. And you've got some states that are have both. You know, Michigan has, uh, you know, both sets of rules. Um, you know, there's there's other states that are looking at adapting it. Illinois is a single shot only state, so it applies to a big so, band of hunters across the middle of the so U.S. So things like the 3030, the um, uh, 35 Remington or not legal. 4570 is not legal. If, in if it's states. got a bolt, if it's got a a, a uh, bottleneck cartridge, even though they look similar, you know we've got a you know a, a, a buck hammer round. Its parent case is a 3030. 30, yeah. So we've got a 3030 case that we've straightened out. We're using a 35 Remington bullet, 200 grain or 180 grain right now. You could not use this if it had a bottleneck cartridge. Right. right. That, Done deal. You know, so I get yeah. that. I just wanted to, to sure. my viewers to hear that yeah. um, because that's uh, that should satisfy everyone. Sure. The next big question, everyone like me, uh, I mean, I shop year round, and so I'm I can find 35 Remington mm -hmm. green box, nice yep. nice new yep. logo on the box. I can find it every now and then, but people complain that it's not available already. Sure. Has this is this going to change your commitment to the 35 Remington? So, well, actually, it has. We've already made some of the okay. 35 Remington in the 150. We brought that back, uh, so we've got the 200 grain as well. But th being that this is the same bullet, you know that that helps us on our planning stages. Okay, we need to make more. We're using it in multiple loads. So we've already built this round, getting ahead of the gun side. So partnered with Henry. How many guns are you gonna guys gonna make on the initial? They're launching an NRA, so that's our model that we have to work around. So now that this cartridge was introduced to Sammy, you know all the other gun companies that are interested can take it and run with it, and they're on their timelines too. So, so we can't just say we're gonna make X rounds. We got to plan for what the market's gonna gonna need, and we don't want to be late. You know, this is, you know, we're we're nine months from deer season now, but we want to get product in the field right. prior to that and we want to be ahead of the guns because the last thing you want to do is go buy a gun and can't get ammo well we've got ammo ahead of that now and so. yours but you're still committed to the 35 Remington absolutely no that's okay. not going yeah in. that was the big question yeah. hey if they're going to do this they already can't keep up with 35 right. Remington of course right. everyone's complaining sure and, and you just... know we've all been fighting different reasons for right. the last couple of years whether it was material availability or even labor, you know, we, that didn't just affect, you know, fast food industry. It affected, you know, the manufacturing side too. Right. So, you know, we've struggled with that, and we've gotten that figured out. But you know, you still have your your blips on materials. I mean, it's we follow the commodity markets. You know, people say, oh, it's expensive to build a house. Well, you're using the same stuff, copper, you know, to wire a house. I mean, we're we're at the mercy of the copper and the brass uh, people, just yeah. like any other industry. So. Uh, we're seeing the light at the, at the end of the tunnel as far as availability of things, you know, leveling out. You know, what is normal? Who knows what normal is now? But we're we're seeing uh, a more normal situation. Yeah. yeah. So the justification for this, um, when you have other cartridges like the uh, the 350 Legend, I personally I personally think this is going to be quite a bit more powerful. Than the yes. 350 Legend. So it, it has a bit more hop to it than the 350 Legend. You know, we. We wanted to do something that hasn't been done in a while, you know. So that was the the reason we were partnering with Henry. Let's go to the lever gun. This 
this idea fits perfectly with a lever gun cartridge. So here we are. So we met with them. They decided to jump on board with us. What can we do ballistically once we decide what case we're going to use uh, and go forward with it? So as far as ballistically, you know, we've got a little more hop than the 350 Legend, a little more energy, less drop. Um, you know, different platforms. That's an AR platform. This is a rimmed cartridge. Um, you know, it works perfect in the lever gun. I like it. You know, we've taken this to Africa. We've taken it on deer hunts in Ohio. We, on the hunt I was on, there were four different deer shot at four different distances. You know, one shot drop type deals. All the same gun, right? All There's the same. Yeah, we were all using. No, we all had. Diff we did, we're using different guns, but it's okay. all the Henry guns. Yeah. yeah. So, like I said, it's been used in Africa. It's been used on bear hunts. It's been used on deer hunts, so different animals, different hides, no issues. I would use yeah. it on a, a ballistic gel hunt. Yeah, I understand. And, I understand. and a water-filled pumpkin hunt. Yeah, yeah, uh, I got it. And I would love to compare it with uh, 35 Remington mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, and just see what that's like, 3030. Uh, that's what my channel is kind of about, is I'll do some comparison stuff where yeah. I'll uh, um, just provide a little bit more information sure. than... I get it. I get it. So you'll see, uh, it's a core lock bullet, so you're going to see I similar know, things that you would out of the out of shooting out of a 35 round. In fact, so. I just did a video comparing the the 200 grain core lock with which I can't get with the 200 grain Sierra Pro Hunter. Okay. And I was surprised. I really thought the Sierra. Don't ask me why, but I, I thought the Sierra Pro Hunter was going to do really well. But the core lock actually performed better than the Sierra Pro. It's been around for 80 plus years for a reason. Yeah. So. Yeah. And, and I, I get that. You know, like I was saying, it's been around for 80 plus year cup and core bullet. But you're also trying to reach an audience that's been shooting for years. Uh, and some people don't want to pay premium prices for a bullet where the, the result's going to be very similar. So. Are we ever going to run away from the core lock across any of our lines? No, no, we're not. You know, will awesome. we will we have premium products? Absolutely. You know, we got Premier Long Range behind you. Mm -hmm. uh, but as far as Remington core lock loads, we are. You know, it's that's Remington. You know, that's, that's they're going to be around. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, congratulations. I think that um, launching a new rimmed cartridge mm -hmm. in today's world. That's kind yep. of going against yep. the grain, right? Yep. Swimming upstream, yep. Yep. and, uh, so, and yep. I, I say kudos yep. to. Uh, it's gotten Remy. a lot of traction this week, and you know, there's been some articles that were leaked out before shot, you know, and yep. so it got some visibility, and people were excited to see it. Thanks very much. Yep. Absolutely, yep. and uh, and I look forward to absolutely. So I don't know about you, but I'm pretty satisfied that the 360 Buckhammer is the right answer for a lot of for a lot of folks, and. I'm also satisfied that they're that they're not going to abandon the 35 Remington, a cartridge that's near and dear to my heart. So I want to say thanks for watching. It's good to be home. I'll see you in the next video.